And if you want to know how much is their salary, do you need to have a perfect set of teeth? Do you need to have a 2020 vision? Do you need to be skinny? Do you need to be sexy? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog. So for today's vlog, we'll be talking about the frequently asked questions about my job and in the airline industry. So if you have the same questions and you are interested in working with us, please keep on watching. Today's vlog, sasagutin ko yung mga questions sa TikTok account ko kasi I've been receiving a lot of questions there and I cannot answer them one by one there so I'll be answering them here in my channel. So disclaimer lang po, um, my answers are based in our airline company and not based on any other airlines. So my answers will be based on my knowledge and based on our airline. So let's start! So first question, so uh, do you need to be a tourism student to be a flight attendant? Well, to answer that, no. Hindi niyo po kailangan maging tourism student to be a flight attendant. Well, in my case, I'm a communication arts graduate and I don't have any idea of how to become a flight attendant when I was in college. But yeah, I tried, I applied, and when I was in the training already, I learned that you don't need to be a, a tourism student graduate. So you can uh, take any course that you want and you can apply to any airline. In our case, the company namin kailan mo maging college graduate. So with other airlines, I'm not sure, but with our airline, um, you need to be a college graduate to be hired or to be qualified for the job. Next question is, do you really need to go or do you really need to apply or enroll in a flight attendant school? So the answer is again no, just like me. As I've said, I don't have any idea of how to be a flight attendant and I did not enroll to any flight attendant school. So it's up to you guys. It's an advantage. Uh, I mean, it's an advantage but you don't necessarily need to go to a flight attendant school. So. If you want to know the basics and you want to have a little background about the job, yes, you can do it. One thing about a flight attendant school, well, when I started my training, I had batch mates who went to a flight attendant school and I feel so insecure because of course they have the knowledge, they have the basic knowledge and they already have a little background about the job. So maybe that's one of the advantage because yeah, they already know a little information about the job and I don't know anything about it so I felt insecure but it's, up to, it's still up to you guys if you want to enroll but me, it's super fine if you will apply directly. Third question, so are you allowed to have a tattoo? Yes, you are allowed to have a tattoo as long as when you are already wearing the uniform, it is hidden and it cannot be seen when you are already wearing the uniform. So for us girls, our uniform is a short sleeve blouse so you cannot have tattoos beyond this area. Pwede kayong magpatattoo pero hindi siya pwede makita when you are already wearing the uniform. Next question, uh, do you need to have a 2020 vision? Um, no. In our company, uh, you are allowed to wear glasses because I have colleagues who wear glasses or contact lenses when they are in flight. But there is a certain grade, I think, for the eyes for the company to require you to undergo LASIK. You don't need to have a 2020 vision. You are allowed to wear contact lenses and you are allowed to wear glasses as long as it is approved by the company. So it is still um, upon the approval of the company. Next question is do you have or do you need to have a complete set of teeth? Well, in our company, I think it's not a requirement to have a complete set of teeth. You just need to have a good set of teeth. So just like in my case, our company is very strict when it comes to um, impacted wisdom tooth. In my case, when I applied, I discovered that I have an impacted tooth. So the company is very strict about that. So they will require you to undergo an extraction so it's it's an operation well where they will remove the impacted tooth so until now I don't know the reason behind that but our company is very strict about that so if you have an impacted tooth or you have impacted wisdom teeth 
you have to get rid of it now so next question guys is do you have a height requirement but yes guys we do have a height requirement so for girls you need to be five feet and three inches for boys you need to be five feet and six inches in height not sure with other airlines but with our airline we are very strict when it comes to the height requirements so make sure that you are five three for girls and five six for boys so next question i always get this question i mean a lot of people have already asked me about this one so the question is kailangan mo bang maging sexy or do you need to be skinny when you want to be a flight attendant so the answer is no so you just have uh, a proportioned height and weight so uh, there's a thing called BMI so you can search it on Google or you can search it somewhere um, just search or just um, compute your height and your weight there's a formula I'm not sure about the formula but you can search about that so if you are normal so there's normal there's underweight and there's overweight so if you are normal it's totally fine and if you are underweight the company also considers that because again you will undergo the training so it's almost two months so you have the chance to gain weight so again guys you don't have to be skinny you just need to have a proportioned height and weight so next question that i got is is the training expensive so mahal ba ang mag training ng pagiging flight attendant the answer is no because in our case when you already when you are already hired or you are you are already accepted by the company the company will be the one who will send you to the training so they will be the one who will be paying for your training but again as i've mentioned earlier there are flight attendant schools out there na pwede kayo mag-enroll that you can enroll pero i'm not sure with the price the price range of the um, tuition fee because again in our case in our company libre po ang training uh, everything is free everything is um, paid by the company so once you get in everything is free as long as you will finish your contract last question so this is again uh, the most frequently asked question about my job so this is how much is your salary so magkano po ba ang sinasahod ng isang flight attendant well um we have this certain rule or company policy where we cannot discuss our salary publicly but i will give you an idea so our salary is divided into a lot of categories so we have transportation allowance we have the basic salary we have the flying time and a lot more hindi lang po siya isang bagsakan na sweldo so it is divided into a lot of categories so what i can tell you or what i can share you guys is that the salary of a flight attendant is more than enough so if you are planning to save of or you are planning to earn money as early as you can well being a flight attendant you can do that so i'm not saying that it's too big or i'm not saying na super laki ng sahod but it is more than enough so if you are single or you are just starting well it's a very very good way to start so it's a, a good platform to start with but um what i can tell you guys is this job is not about the salary it's about commitment to the job because the job wasn't the job was never easy guys the job is never easy um hindi biro ang pagiging flight attendant kung medyo malaki man yung sinasahod nila or medyo malaki man po ang sinasahod namin that is because we really worked hard for it in my case when i am still single and i don't have my baby um, I can pay for my bills and I can still have a lot of money for my luho. So that's what I'm saying, guys. It's more than enough because you can still pay your bills and you can still have your luho. Okay, you can support your luho, guys. So, yeah, if you are not a maluho, uh, mat maluho person or hindi ka naman maluhong tao, well, makakapag-ipon ka sa trabaho to. I tell you guys, I have friends who already have their own houses, who, who already bought their own houses. Um, I have a lot of colleagues who already have their cars. So yeah, you pwede kang magluho sa trabahong to. But it's still up to you guys. Kahit anong trabaho ang meron kayo, kung hindi kayo marunong mag-save at hindi kayo marunong humaak ng pera, well, kahit anong trabaho, hindi kayo matutulungang makapag-ipon. Still have a lot of questions? Well, you can comment it down below or you can comment in on my TikTok account because, yeah, there, I receive a lot of questions there. And you can definitely ask a question there. 
and I'll try my best to answer them as much as possible. And um, I'll be back for another video. So that's it, guys. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And please do subscribe on my channel and click on the notification bell beside it so you will be notified with my latest updates and latest vlogs. So that's it for today and hope to see you guys on my next vlog.